morning, everybody. Welcome. I'll start in just a sec. Who's out there with me this morning live? Hey, Mr. B. Yeah, come say good morning. He is. The beastie. <laughs> See, he's going to be chill this morning. He was just outside having a romp in the backyard. So, keep on to your bed. Don't go lie down. Yeah, go lie down. Oh, good. Nice down dog. Oh, I just blocked that. I just did an epic down dog. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go on to my mat. Good morning, Shalia. Yeah, nice to see you. Nice to see your name. I wish I could see you, but that's for Zoom another time. <laughs> we will start on um, on the mat, okay? So let's just start. I think it's just after the line. If anyone joins us a bit late, that's great. Happy to be. No line in your bed? Come on, come down. Nice. Good boy. Good morning, good morning. So my name is Mike. If you're out there with me live, welcome. It's Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. I do this live stream every week. Uh, journey into power sequence. So I'm a Baptist yoga teacher and we'll do a Baptist flow this morning. Okay. So my intention this morning is to teach you the elements. So the Baptist yoga has a methodology, different, um, different tools, different things you can use in your teaching and in your practice to kind of ground you and make you more present. And one of those things is just thinking about the elements, earth, air, fire, water, space, and bringing those into your practice this morning. So come into um, Supta Baddha Konasana. Let's start on our backs. Yeah. Come down soles of your feet together. If you were watching this later on, welcome, welcome. This practice is for any level, right? So if you're newer to the practice, if you're not sure about what's happening, just check in with me, get the visual, and then keep coming back. Your body, your practice, let it land however it lands this morning. Close your eyes and start with air, breath. Really feeling that flow of breath in and out through your nose. Ujjayi breathing. And the sensations of the air rushing in and out through your nostrils. The air in your lungs. Mr. Believe it, please. Believe it. You want me to clean yourself aggressively. Thank you. Take another breath in. Take another breath out. Feel the earth underneath you. Let's feel of your body right here. These first few moments of the practice, getting grounded, feeling the flow of your breath. One more full inhale. Open your mouth, let it go. <sighs> Buddy, leave it. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. We'll add a little fire here to start. Okay, press your feet up to the ceiling. Bring your hands underneath your low back. So tapas, the fire, vitality, physicality. A really good tool to tap into. Breathe in. Lower down a third here. Starting to wake up the legs. Flex your feet. Press your heels forward. Take a full inhale. Lower down another third. Keep the breath flowing. One inch off the mat, a couple inches off the mat. Look at your toes here. Spread your toes out. Flex them back. A little bounce up and down here. Building some heat for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lift your feet up. Take your heels together. Open your toes nice and wide. Take a big breath in. Lower down a third. Fire. Press the heels. Press them away from you. Take an inhale. Lower down another third. Take a breath in here. A few inches off the mat, look at your feet, lift your shoulders. So like ribs to hips, core strong, scissor kick your legs. 
Alternating top and bottom for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Press your heels together. Lift your feet up. Reverse the rotation. Your big toes touching. Your heels wide. Really open that internal thigh rotation. Breathe in. Slowly lower. Keep it fluid here. Flow like water. Legs slowly lowering for another 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tap your heels. Keep. Going back up now slowly for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Legs strong, core active, 3, 2, and 1. Hug your knees in. Feel like a tiny bit of heat that you just generated. Grab the backs of your knees. Start to move here. So you'll rock front to back a couple times. Do a few rocks. And then you'll bring yourself up to Navasana, to boat pose. Ground down through your tailbone. Feel that connection. And from there, lift up through the crown of the head. Draw your shoulder blades back. So integration. Any variation here. Keep your breath supporting you. Keep that tapas, the heat, the fire, muscles to bones. Like fullest expression. Building it up here. Three more. In and out. Shoulders back. Chest lifts. Keep your core active. Take another breath in. And then release, let yourself rock back to a couple of rocks. And then step back into a high plank and hold. Fire, generate it. Ground down like earth through your hands, through the mounds of your toes. Fill your lungs with air. And drop your bum down a little bit. Yes, keep yourself in a straight line from shoulders to heels. Still here for two more breaths. Fill with air. Let that out. Shift forward. Exhale down, low plank. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Upward facing dog on the breath in. Downward facing dog on the breath out. Land in your first down dog this morning. Or whatever time of day it might be. Really feel out your body now in down dog. So spread your fingers and toes, ground down like earth. Feel that connection, right? Pressing down into your mat. Generates stability. Activates muscles. Right? From grounding down, you can create more heat. Sometimes lessen it by creating more stability. Breathe in. Feet together. Lift your right foot up. Bend your knee. Open the hips. Move here. On the inhales, lift the right knee up. On the exhales, open the twist a little more. Breathe in. Press the floor. Twist further. Again, lift. Squeeze. And release. Switch sides. Take the left foot up. Three-legged dog. Ground down both hands and the right heel. A whole right foot. Press it down. Inner ankle back. Outer ankle roots to the mat. Lift your left knee up. Pull your left heel down. Take another breath. Open the side of your body. And then release. Really step to the top. Grab opposite elbows or biceps. Ragdoll. That's your upper body goal. Feel some space in your spine here. Space in your neck. And this can be like still, or there can be movement. This whole practice is vinyasa, it's movement, it's flow, right? Flow like water, so like instead of being rigid, instead of being stuck. Water always finds the path of least resistance. It'll always find a little crack, a little hole, it'll make its way where it needs to go, right? Just bring that in. The more flow you can tap into, the more fluid you are in your thoughts and your physical body, the more present you'll be to the practice that's happening. Take a breath in. Release your fingertips down to the floor. Bring your big toes to touch. Halfway lift. And fold. Extended mountain pose. Reach up. Hands to heart center. Take your eyes to the tips of your fingers and we'll start with one home together. Breathe in. Ooh. 
Sweep your arms up. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Press the earth. High plank. To low. Flow. Upward facing dog. Press down. Lift up. Downward facing dog. Hips back. Softness in the joints. Body's fluid. It's not rigid. Yogis, check in. If something's stuck, if something feels tight, can you bring more softness, more flow? Send your breath. Fill up. Ground down. Lift onto your toes. Light. Bend your knees. Look forward. Hop. Clap back right away. Fill with air. Fold. Extended mountain. Up and back. Keep filling. Keep reaching. Fold forward. Press that air out. Halfway lift. High to low plank. Flow like water. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe. Ground down. Build heat. Focus. Presence. And flow. Lift. Bend. Hopper step. Flat back right away. Fold. Extended mountain, up and back, keep reaching, keep filling. Fold forward, empty it out. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana, move with your breath. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Under your toes, bend your knees right away. Hopper step to the top of your mat, flat back. Fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Sink down. Put your weight into your heels. Let your hips drop deeper. Now scoop your tailbone down. Lift the front of your pelvis up. Get into your feet. Big toe mounds, pinky toe mounds, inner ankles back, outer ankles down. Feel that. Activate the legs. Fire. Top boss. Breathe in. Sit deeper. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, draw your upper arm bones back, lift your chest, and then fold chest to thighs. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low. With breath, you flow. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right foot forward, warrior one. Gaze up. Sink down. Breathe. And stay. Spark your fingers. Arm bones back, right? Keep that activation. Shoulder integration. Right hip bone back and sink down into the lunge. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Big reach, big length. Chaturanga Dandasana. Plant your hands. Flow it out. Move that energy in and out. Left side. Step through. Gaze to your fingers as you reach up. Your focus. All of this space around you, all of these things you can look at, you pick one. Commit to it. Breathe in. Lunge deeper. Press your feet. Spark each finger. Take one more big, big breath right here. Stay lunge down further. Kind of tricked you there. Take a breath in. Chaturanga Dandasana. Plant your hands and flow. Upward facing dog. Thighs lift. Downward facing dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Long breaths. Air. Vitality. Your breath. Feeding every cell of your body with oxygen with what it needs to survive, like use it, make it louder, 
and get longer. Press down into your mat, lift onto your toes, bend, look forward, hopper step forward, flat back, fold. Utkatasana chair, just one breath, sink down, and then flow, empty out. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow like water, move. Use your breath, in. Breath out. Right side, warrior one. Ground your feet, reach your fingertips. Chaturanga Dandasana, move with your breath. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left side, breathe. Press down, reach up. Chaturanga Dandasana, move with air. Flow in. Take it back, empty. Breathe. Ground. Engage. Muscles. Focus. It's intentional. Do that work. Lift up. Bend, look forward, and propel yourself there. Right away, flat back, <laughs> full. Utkatasana, one breath, sink down. Uttanasana, fold forward. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana, you can shoot back to a little plank maybe. Yes, upward facing dog, lift up. Downward facing dog, hips back. Right side, warrior one. Use the breath, keep reaching. Keep expanding space. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left side. Tap into that breath. Keep reaching. Keep lengthening. Chaturanga Dandasana, move. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Take a full breath in. Take a full breath out. Feet together at the back of your mat. Lift your right foot up. Bend your knees, stack your hips. Create space in the side of your body. Open, lift. Take a breath in and flip. Flow to the flip dog. Press your feet, activate that. Ground down like earth to create lift, to create opening. Take a breath in, take a breath out. One more big reach. Stick out your tongue. Ah, high plank. Take side plank, spin your heels to the right, left arm lifts up. Spark your fingers here. Take your top leg into tree, do that. Build some extra fire. Can be above or below the knee. Don't press the side of your knee, please, okay? So press your bottom leg into your foot. Lift your hip up to the ceiling, like both hips lifting, core strong. Take your gaze up, see what happens. One more breath, press your leg up into your foot. Oh, I feel it. <laughs> Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Pedal at your knees. So fix the curtain because the light messes it up. There we go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift your left foot up. Bend your knees, stack your hips. Feel this. Space in the body. Space, one of these elements. It's a little less obvious, but it's the possibility of where you can go where your focus is, what's possible. You determine it, lift and flip. Press down into your heels, reach forward with your fingers. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Two more, press the earth, lift, squeeze, breathe in. High plank, side plank, right arm up. Top leg into tree, over below your knee, spark fingers and toes, wake up your whole body here, lift, press that bottom leg up, take your gaze up, see what happens, maybe get a little wobbly, that's okay, build more fire, one more breath in, lift and press, Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out, up dog, downward facing dog, take a full breath in. 
full breath out. Right foot up. Shift forward. Take your knee to your nose. Lift back up. Right knee to right tricep. Try to touch it. Maybe you can play with balancing. If that's there for you, yogis, take your foot back up. Right knee to left tricep. Hold it. Squeeze it. Play. And then lift back up. Step through. Crescent lunge. Keep your back heel off the mat. So lift up the back knee, lift up the back heel. Drop back your right hip, so square the hips. Breathe in, twist. Hands at the center of your chest and then hook your left elbow on your right knee. Wrap your right shoulder back. Breathe. Move right here. And twist deeper. Take another breath, keep your core active, fire. Squeeze, ring it out. Open up, warrior two. Whoop. <laughs> Land, next breath. Transitions might get messy. They might not be how you want them to look. Who cares? That fire, that agitation, the thought processes, the judgments, the criticisms, it's all fire. Cool that down. Come back to flow. Breathe. Ground. Inhale. Exhale. Again, press down, lunge deeper, extended side angle, right elbow to knee, or right fingertips down to the ground. Great place for a block as well. If you have the prop under your fingers, it can feel nice. Be light on that bottom hand. You're not like dumping all of your weight down. That's where the block can help create some space. Again, space is so important. Anywhere you feel crunching, you feel rigid, you feel stuck. Generate more flow. Generate more openness. Breathe in. Breathe out. Reach. Gaze up. Take a full breath in. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow it out. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a full breath. Empty it out. Lift your left foot up to the ceiling, to the sky. Bring it forward, knee to nose. Lift up. Left knee, left tricep. Try to touch it. Maybe make contact. Maybe balance. Lift back up. Cross over. Left knee to right tricep. Play with it. Squeeze in. And then lift back up. Crescent lunge. Step through. Lift your arms up. Hands to heart center and twist. Wrap both shoulders back. So you don't want it to be like dumping down. You want to keep opening the front of the chest by integrating shoulder blades. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift your back knee. Lift your back heel. Whoop. If you fall out, come right back as quick as you can. You begin again. Full inhale. Bring out your spine. Warrior two. Ground your back foot. Sink down into your front knee. Press into your feet. Melt your shoulders down your back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Flow. Even here in a stagnant pose, there's movement. There's water and softness to the joints. Not rigid. Stay. Breathe in, breathe out, go a little deeper. If there's space for it, take the space. Extended side angle, come down. Right fingertips up, nice deep lunge. Open the front of your chest. Inhale, exhale, air, and flow. Reach, twist. One more breath in. Chaturanga Dandasana. Plant your hands. Lower down. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Up onto your toes. Bend your knees. Step to the top of your mat. Fly back. Fold. Chair. Twist to the right. 
Come down into your seat, hands at the center of your chest, and then you hook the left elbow to the right knee. Tendency here will be for that left knee to try to pop forward. Draw the left knee and the right knee in line. Ground down your feet. Soften. Like you're working hard, but there's this fluidity. There's this movement in the body. There's lengthening. There's twisting. Breathe in. Fire up your core. Take one more breath. Twist. And release. Fingers to toes. Take your feet hip distance apart. Scoop up your big toes. Let go of the weight of your head, right? Just like lengthen the neck. Search for space between every vertebrate of your spine and your neck. Let your breath flow there. breath in, take a breath out, chair twist to the left, sink down into your seat, twist to the other side, wrap your shoulder blades back, find that integration, belly strong, if your right knee is trying to pop forward, see if they're peeking forward, pull it back, right, keep that activation, twist, engage, inhale, Exhale, big breath in, big breath out. One more lengthen and twist. Release, gorilla pose. Feet hip distance apart. Slide your palms under your feet. So you'll get toes up to your wrist creases or as close to that as you can. If it's not that possible, if that's not possible, you can press the tops of the feet, even block. Get a wrist stretch. Let go of your head. More weight into your toes. Breathe in. Breathe out. Do that again. One more breath. Let something go more softness, more space, palms on your mat, crow pose, bring your feet together a little bit further back, a couple feet behind your hands, press your knees onto the backs of the triceps, right here is like crow prep, you can do this work of just pressing knees and triceps into each other, maybe you start to bend the elbows, you start to lift up, wherever you're going, take it on, and really fly here. Like even if your toes don't come off the ground, feel lightness, feel space, freedom. Breathe in, breathe out. One more big breath, low plank. Upward facing dog, lift. Downward facing dog, hips back. Lift up onto your toes, bend your knees, step to the top of your mat, halfway lift and fold. Extended mountain reach all the way up. Eagle, right arm under, right leg over the left. Get a bind. Just generating that by squeezing in. Fire in your biceps, inner thighs, core, sink down. Sweep up. Eagle on the left. Engage in the binds. Steady your gaze, sit down, ground down like earth through that foot, press it, and then squeeze, activate all the way up to the crown of your head. Take a breath in, take a breath out, switch sides, eagle. Same pose, different moment, different experience of it. Bring something new, find like a new millimeter, Little bit more activation, a little bit deeper breath, whatever it is. Take an inhale, exhale, switch sides, sweep up. Left side, eagle. Coming back, tap into those elements, breath, air, flow. There's that fluidity, 
never feeling stuck, never feeling like you're suffering through space for whatever you need at any moment. Reach up, standing leg raise. Grab your right knee or your right big toe. That's near practice and then open up. Stay active here through core. So keep that belly button scooping in. Crown of your head lifting up, tall spine. Keep it strong. Breathe in. Foot back to center. Extend your leg forward. And then sweep back airplane pose. So take a breath in and a breath out. Turn the right pinky toe down to the floor. Ground your left foot into the earth. Lift higher. Bring your hands higher than your hips. Shoulder blades drawn to your back. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Hands to heart center. Open up. Half moon. Maybe you bring your fingertips down to the ground or to a block. Maybe they hover. Take your eyes like play. If I look up to the ceiling, I normally fall out, but you never know. Right? See what happens. Challenge yourself. <laughs> Do it again. One more breath in. Well, and if you're falling all over the place, amazing. That's fine. Fold forward. Feet together. Halfway lift. And fold. Sweep all the way up. Left side. Oh, standing leg raise. Grab your left knee. Open up. How your body shows up from day to day. Like, it's going to be different sometimes. Don't judge it. I can balance rock solid some days and other days like my legs are just tired for whatever reason. And don't be in like this story, oh, I can't do that today. And then you try to find a meaning why, who cares? Foot forward, toes lift, airplane, fly back. Challenge yourself, right? Do the work. If it's like wobbly, if it's messy and that's why you don't want to do it, I would just do it. But if you're suffering through it, if you're in pain, if you're worried you might cause injury, like let that go. Go into the variation where you're empowered, where you're present, where you're grounded. Hands to heart center. Open to your half moon. Getting messy, getting wobbly. It's only frustrating if you allow it to be. It can be fun. You can be playful. There's space for that. If you find it, if you generate it, try to look up. See what happens. <laughs> Take a breath in and release. Feet together. Full. I don't know if my balance today. That's okay. It seems. It seems that way. Sweep all the way up. Who cares? Dancer's pose. Next one. You might find your balance in this moment. Don't be in the past of what was just happening. Be in the present. That's where you can affect change. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Kick back, lift, higher, squeeze into center, breathe, and release. Switch sides. Left foot kicks back. Steady gaze. Really tap into that, where your attention is, where your focus is. Where are you making space? Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Switch sides. Dancer on the right. Space around you. You can be looking all over the place. You can be thinking about different things, or you can just commit to that one fleck of paint in front of you, that one leaf on the tree in your yard. That's where your attention is. Breathe in. Switch sides. Dancer. Left. Breath to breath. Moment to moment. That's the practice. Flowing through. Flow like water. Unmessable. Something gets in your way, you just find the path of least resistance around it and you keep moving forward. Take a breath in, take a breath out, kick back and lift and release. Tree. Start by grounding, yeah? Roots down through your bottom foot. Press your right foot and your left leg into each other. Fire here, there's muscle engagement. Everything in the lower half is engaged, is hugging in and up. Arm variation, wherever you want to go with your arms, space. You create stability from your lower half, all that work, and then there's freedom, there's openness in your breath, in your gaze, wherever you need to take the upper body. Inhale, exhale, keep your core strong, knit your ribs in, take a big breath, and release. Switch sides, tree on your left.
land right here. And then allow there to be flow. Flow like water, it can be messy, it can be perfectly still sometimes, but always ready to move if there's potential. Breathe in, breathe out, find that fullest possible expression, and then release, hands to heart center. Take your fingertips up to the ceiling, fold forward, halfway lift, Chaturanga Dandasana, it's a little plank, move. With your breath, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right foot forward, warrior one, reach up, open to warrior two, Trikonasana, straighten the front leg, reach forward, come down, and then reach your left fingertips up. You can take your hand to your front shin if you don't have a block or a prop. Just make sure you're pressing your shin back up. You don't want to like do this in hyperextend. I don't think you can see that in my knee. That's like locked out. Gross. Don't do that. Soften it. So the block can help. It just lifts you again. Space, right? Without a block, I have no space in the right side of my body. You can see it's all crunched up. If I take a block and I lift up, space, openness, potential for more flow, more twist. More grounding through my feet here. Press and open. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Pull yourself all the way up to stand. Turn your right toes in so your feet are parallel to the ends of your mat. Wide leg forward fold. Fold forward. You can grab your ankles. You can do whatever feels good here. Knee hands on the floor. Forearms on a block. I'm going to take a headstand quickly here. If you're not... Doing a headstand in your practice yet? Just play with trying to get your head closer to the ground. That's the first step. Dots, lots of different ways to get up into it. I did a headstand workshop weeks ago. You can find that in my channel. Look for it if you want some tips of how to get there one day. How to build strength. How to let go of the I can't. The it's impossible. Creating space for something new. Headstand, slowly bring yourself back down. Everybody walk your hands over to your right foot. Turn your toes forward. We'll move into pyramid here. However you get there, if you want to come up, that makes it easier. Step your left foot back. Sorry, step your left foot forward, not back. Closer to your right foot. Press down both your feet. Draw your tailbone back. Your right hip bone back. Let go of the upper body. Breathe in, ground down like earth through your feet, feel inner ankles back, outer ankles down, halfway left, twisted triangle, left fingers to the right foot, right hand on your low back is great. I can reach my hand up to the ceiling with a block, but if you don't, I don't know if you can see how like crunched up this feels, not comfortable, just those couple of extra inches give me all of this extra space to open the twist more. It's not making it easier. It's just making it like more open, more possibility. That's good, yogis. Take a big breath in. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out. Always looking for possibility. It doesn't always have to even mean doing more. Sometimes a little bit of compassion, a little bit of support, make something new possible. Step your left foot forward. Warrior one. Open your hips to two, and then press down. Trikonasana. Reach forward. As you're doing that, that's what this does is create space in the side body. So you reach and then come down. Trying to keep as much openness through this bottom side body. Openness wherever you can. Breathe in. Draw the shoulders back. Create openness in the front of your chest. Two more. Lean into your twist. Breathe in. Soften your knees. They're not rigid, fluid. Pull yourself up to stand. Turn your left toes in, feet parallel. You can take the bind here. Yeah, press the knuckles down as you fold. Your fist comes up and over your head. Lift your inner thigh muscles up to the ceiling. Feel the legs wake up. 
Press the outer edges of your feet down. Scoop the pit of your belly in. Really let go here of the crown of the head. Space in your neck. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again, fill. Let go of that air. Hands to the floor. Walk over to pyramid. Left toes forward. Right foot steps in about a third of the way or so. And press down into your heels. Draw your left hip bone back. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Do that again. Let go of the crown of your head. Halfway left. Twisted triangle. Right fingers to left foot. Draw back that left hip bone and then create a space here. Open up the front of the chest. Twist. Reach. Breathe in. Breathe out. A couple more. Press the feet. Bring out your spine like a rag. Big breath in. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow it out. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Out of your knees. Come forward to high plank. Lower down low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Do that again. High plank. A little slower this time. Low plank. Feel the pause. Upward facing dog. Press the floor away. Downward facing dog. Lift up. Last one. Come forward. Lower down nice and slow for the count of 10. Nine. Keep your elbows in. Your belly strong. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Locust pose. Yeah. Arms back. Chest, arms, legs. Lift up off your mat. Take a breath in. Draw the shoulders back. Really lengthen your neck. A couple more. Inhale. Exhale. Interlace your hands. Press your knuckles back. More lift. Ground into your pelvis. Integrate shoulders. Squeeze muscles to bones. Breathe in. And release. Come all the way down. Sway your hips from side to side. The neighbors got their music bumping again. Not sure if you guys can hear that or not. Just have to be louder than that. Crap on the sides of your ankles. Kick back into your feet. Floor bow. Yeah, keep your knees hugging in. They'll want to splay open. That's the tendency. Keep that activation to center. Shin bones kick back. Collar bones lift up. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. A couple more. Inhale. Exhale. Shin bones kick back. Even more lift. And release all the way down. Right away. Bring your hands by your low ribs. Lift yourself to upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Kind of let your knees. Come through onto your back. Let's move into bridge pose. So starting in bridge here, ground down through your heels. Press the backs of your triceps down. Lift up your hips even more. Yeah, find that lift. Ground into your heels. Really squeeze the leg muscles. Ground into your triceps. So creating that connection. You ground down like earth to create space to lift up. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Press. Lift. And release. Gently come down. Knees from side to side. Hands by your ears. Press down into your mat. Lift yourself up. Wheel pose. Any variation here. If you want to do anything like tricks, lift your heels, lift your legs. Add in possibility. Space right here in your practice to go wherever you want to go. Like peek it. Fire it up. Take a breath in. Come down. One inhale. Really big exhale. Go back up, wheel, press down, 
Lift. Press your calves towards your shoulders, wheels. Keep that lift through your hips. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take another full inhale and release. Come all the way down. Knees from side to side. And we will go back up. One more wheel right here. Press, lift, squeeze. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Peek it. Your fullest possible expression of wheel pose. One more breath in. And release. Come all the way down. Supta Bada Konasana, right where we started, yogis. Full circle back here to the air in your lungs. The music is getting louder and louder. <laughs> you might not even hear it, but I can, so I'm just gonna quickly text my neighbor. Make sure he's not lying. So if you just keep breathing right here. Make the breaths nice and long. In. Three more breaths. In. And out. One more. Empty it out. Give your knees a squeeze here, like some little circles. Grab the outsides of your feet. Happy baby. Sway gently from side to side. Inhale, and exhale. Hug your knees into your chest one more time. And you'll grab the backs of your knees, rock front to back a few times. And move into downward facing dog, however you get there. Step back, pedal at your knees. We'll move into half pigeon on your right side. So taking your right shin parallel to the top of your mat. Sink down. So option here if you want to take a block underneath your right hip. Sink down. And if you're here with me every Sunday, this has been like an ongoing thing. Lovely neighbors, but sometimes the music is bumping early on a Sunday morning. Right, and that's okay. That's the work of just not letting external distractions take you out from your practice. You hear sounds, you know things are happening in the world around you, but like how much attention, how much importance do you put on them? Send a text, maybe his phone's on a stereo playing the music, he doesn't see it, right? Let it go, it's okay, we're here. I do apologize if it's distracting you, but that's really amazing work for you is just to keep coming back and just feel your breath. Make the rumbling of your ujjayi in your lungs and your nostrils even louder than any distractions in your mind or in the environment around you. Breathe. Breathe in. Breathe out. A few more breaths here. Feel the earth underneath you. Connect to that energy, grounding. Breathe in. Breathe out. Do 
do it again. You bring your back leg around in front. Their music drives Mr. B crazy a lot more than it drives me crazy sometimes. <laughs> Take a seated single leg extension. So your left leg will come out in front of you and you'll fold over your leg. He gets very confused by base that he can't place where it's coming from. <laughs> fold over your leg, tuck your chin. Feel some space in the back of your neck. Pull the belly in. One more. Deepen that stretch as much as you can. And we'll switch sides. Take half pigeon on the left. So you'll bend your left knee, sweep your right leg around. If you want to take a whole flow to get there, it's here. Practice yoga. Okay. However you transition, go for it. Land in the next pose. Again, a better view from this side is to block if you need some support underneath the hip. This prevents it from dumping down, right? You don't want to be here with this hip dumped onto the ground. If you can see that my hips are uneven there, it's really um, more about finding even hips. On my other side, I can actually get all the way down without a block, right? But sometimes that really helps. Just that little, even a corner, just to prop you up. Come back to the breath. Come back to the beats. <laughs> Just breathe. Breathe. Each breath is space for that. Potential, more depth, more stretch, more focus, more integrity in your body and your thoughts. Keep checking back in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Couple more. We'll move into seated single leg extension. Bring the back leg forward. Take your right foot out to like two o'clock, left foot to your inner thigh, fold over the right leg. Lengthen, stretch. Take a breath in, take a breath out. One more. Take some deeper. Come back up to sit. Take a seated forward fold, both feet out in front of you. Pull your sit bones back fleshy part of your bum cheeks out of the way and then fold over your legs here. Keep your tailbone facing back and then pull the crown of your head towards your toes. Tuck your chin. Breathe in. A little bit deeper. Come back up to sit. We'll move into an inversion here. So waterfall with the block. You can take your low back onto the block. If you don't have one, just put your hands underneath there. So on either side of your tailbone, keeping the legs supported a little bit. Shoulder stand is an option, right? Lifting the hips all the way up, hands support the low back. Trying to stack your joints, toes, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders, like all of that in line. Press and lift. Inhale and exhale. 
you're in shoulder stand, slowly with control, find your way into plow. i make sure I'm not gonna kick my dog in the head here. Go. Press your heels straight back. Heels press back. If you're in plow with your toes on the ground, you can maybe interlace your fingers and press them forward. Do that, keep your core engaged here. Breathe in, breathe out. Deaf man's pose, you bend your knees beside your ears. It's like gently squeeze your ears and your knees into one. Don't squeeze your ears into anything. Squeeze your knees into your ears. Lift the tailbone. Squeeze a little tighter. Slowly roll yourself out. Come down onto your back. We'll take supine twist here. Just finishing up now, grab your right knee, extend your left leg and then pull, draw the right knee across the body. See, now I feel bad that I even texted him because he didn't see it and he's gonna feel terrible after he pretended I feel so bad. <laughs> it's the work. It used to irritate me if I heard the music when I didn't want to hear it and like it's everybody's life to live. So if we hear the music, that's what we hear. Frustration is a choice. Irritation is a choice. I know when I choose them, I feel shitty, so switch sides. Grab your left knee, draw it across your body. Like make a choice not to feel gross, not to be angry, not to be frustrated, right? If you can choose it, different thought. Different experience. Take a breath in. Deep in the twist. Again. Deeper. Bring your knees back to center. Give yourself a squeeze. And then we're going to take Shavasana. As present as you can. I've definitely been distracted for the last half of the class with the music playing. It's like my work would keep coming back. I definitely lost the elements a little bit there. That's okay. Being aware of that, coming back now, allow yourself to rest. Whatever sounds you might hear, whatever thoughts might pop up. Just generating space, space from that space for something else, for release, for restoration. The flow of breath, the flow of thoughts. Just let it flow through the path of least resistance. Distraction tries to creep in, and then you just acknowledge it and let it go. Come back to the sound of your breath. Come back to the connection to your mat. Sensations in your muscles. Space. Space for ease. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Take a full body stretch, lengthen, arms up over your head. 
Really feel that. Big stretch. Roll onto one side. Fetal position just for a moment there. Rest. One head on your bicep. Well, you only have one head. <laughs> Rest your head on one bicep. Bring yourself up to a seated position, nice and slow. Take your time. Sit up tall. Bring your hands to the center of your chest. We'll finish like we began with an OM in the beginning, the rest of your day. Take a breath in. to the center of your forehead. The light in me, the air in me, the earth in me, the fire, the water acknowledges each and every one of you. Together we bow and say namaste. Thank you for joining me, yogis. I hope you had a good practice. Hopefully that wasn't too distracting. I don't even know if you can hear the music. If you're at their live comment, please let me know if it was picking up over the stereo. I don't um, it's probably distracting you that I was talking about it more than actually hearing it. But anyway, I'm here every Sunday at nine o'clock. Um, please join me, share this with anyone that might want to flow and uh, keep moving your body, keep nourishing your body and stay connected to your yoga practice. Yeah, I'll see you again really soon. I'll come check out the chat there and see somebody's chat. <laughs> Alita, good morning. So I end the stream, but I always stick around for a little bit if anyone is um, wanting to chat or tell me anything. Mr. B was so chill this morning. Amazing. Have an awesome rest of your week. See you soon.